Kavor again. We're going to look at problem 422. If you recall in the previous video, we did a quick and easy way of doing the selling price versus square footage simple linear regression model. You may not know it, but Excel has a complete statistical package inside of it. It's called data analysis. I'm using Excel 2016 for Mac. It's not available on Excel 2011 for Mac, but it is available for all Windows versions. If you want to download it and, and install that add-in on the Windows version, I would uh, Google installing data analysis on Windows Excel, and you'll probably see some videos that will tell you how to do that. Uh, on the Mac, it's somewhat easier because if we go to Excel and we say tools you go and see add-ins and I've got and it will tell you which ones you want I've already clicked on analysis tool pack and solver add-in so it's the analysis tool pack that I want so if I go here and I do data or I go data see my data analysis here I can then open it and I can do all kinds of things I have anything from analysis of variance to z-test to and I'm interested in regression so let's say okay pops up a dialog window which I had previously done this problem so let's erase that and what I usually ask wants to put it in a new window, but we're not going to put it in a new window. So let's look at this. First of all, it's asking for the input, the Y range. So I take my selling price and I put that column in. I go to the input X range and I put in the square footage, just like we did before. I have labels in the top of the column. And if I want confidence intervals at 95, I don't know why it jumps like that, but it does. I want to put an output range, and my output range is H, because I previously put in there, H5. And I think that's all I really want to look at. Don't worry about this stuff right now. We're just taking baby steps. And it basically creates an output. And if you look at it, it gives an R squared of 89.5. What was our R square here? 89.5. It gives the coefficients of the intercept was minus 2486.8, minus 2486.9. This if you round this off to one decimal place. You could do that. Uh, let's expand the column so that we can see everything we want to see. And it gives us a lot more information. It gives us an F test on the entire regression model. And the significance is 0 0.0001. It's very significant. So this is a really good model. And if I want to look at my T statistic on the intercept, it doesn't matter. But on the square footage, it shows that it's also very significant. And I'm pretty happy about that. It gives me uh, a lower and upper confidence lo limit and a tolerance limit. But this is probably what I all I want to look at and see what I have here. So this is the full output that would accompany this graph. Let's say I wanted to then do multiple regression. Let's say I want to use all my variables. I want to look at square footage, bedrooms, and age. Well, let's do it again. Where would I go? I would go to data. There's my data analysis. I would go to regression. I was hit OK. And in this case, I would have to change my X input, and I would just highlight everything that I want, all three variables at the same time. Bedrooms, age, and I want to leave the labels there. I'll have confidence intervals of 95, but instead of putting it in output range, let's put it in a new sheet so that we don't lose this information and say, okay. 
and it creates a sheet number two, which let's make it a little bit bigger. So it gives me a square footage line plot, line fit plot. I can look at those plots if I want. I'm not going to spend time on them now. I'm just going to look at the tables to see how you can do. Well, that wasn't good. And my undo. Undo clear. There we go. And now I have everything that I need. Again, notice my R squared is now up to 92. We're not looking at the adjusted R squared for at this elementary level. Let's just stick with the R squared. 92 is a few points higher. It, the, adding these other variables does not add a lot. In fact, my significance of my model went down a little bit. It's still very significant. And it gives me the coefficients. So I would have age times minus 296.7 plus bedrooms would be the coefficient for that would be 6060.8 and the square footage would be 30.299 and the intercept would be 10,699. And which one of these are significant? The only one that's really significant is at a 5% significant level is a square footage. It's telling me I do not need bedrooms and age. So my simple linear regression might have been sufficient here, even though I have bought myself a couple percentage points or a couple points in R squared. So I'm explaining 92.44% of the variation of the selling price using this model. If I go back to my original sheet, you can see 89.5% of the variation is explained by this model. So really, this model is more significant. This model, the square footage, has a very, is a very significant. If I go look at the multiple regression model, I would probably not want to include bedrooms and square footage, I mean bedrooms and age, because they're not significant. I want this p-value to be less than 5% as a rule of thumb. If it's less than 1%, even better. If it's less than 0.01 or 0.1% or 0.01%, even better. So the significance of this model is really the square footage. But you can see how we can calculate both. And we've got the equation that would be here. These would be the variables times these intercepts, these coefficients, excuse me, plus that intercept. I hope this helps. Thank you very much. More videos to follow.